Hello and welcome to the Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series Combine Operation Guide. In this video we shall be looking at the cleaning shoe, its features, operation and settings. Other than regular inspection of the cleaning system for dirt and crop buildup, there is little maintenance to be carried out. Check the rubber edge seals for tears and wear and for any damage to the sieve tongues. Occasionally the electric operated sieves will need calibrating. Via the control screen go to the calibration screens and select the relevant sieve. Without the engine running, start the calibration procedure and follow the instructions. That is, go down to the outside sieve adjustment switches and fully close the sieves. Then open them to exactly 6mm using a ruler or 6mm Allen key. Then on the screen press the OK. The calibration is complete. To get access to the bottom sieve, position the chopper to gain access to the rear of the cleaning shoe. Just above the rear axle release the two latches and fold down the access door. You can check the bottom sieve through this point. The cleaning shoe consists of the following components. The cross flow cleaning fan, the preparation pan, the pre-sieve, the top sieve, the bottom sieve and the sieve loss monitors. All these items are mounted in a sub-chassis which can swivel about the centre line of the combine to allow for hillside terrain. This is controlled automatically by an electronic inclinometer and is engaged and disengaged along with the threshing and cleaning system. The fan is controlled by varying the flow of oil to a hydraulic motor on the right side of the combine. This can be done manually. However, there are two additional options available depending upon the specification of the machine. There is hill compensation option which will automatically increase the speed of the fan when the combine is working downhill and decrease the speed of the fan uphill. This is automatic and needs no operation intervention other than having it switched on via the control screen. The other option is to have the hill compensation along with harvest command whereby the fan is controlled completely automatically as per the crop type and harvest strategy selected by the operator on the harvest command control screen. The preparation pan, pre-sieve and top sieve move backwards and forwards in opposition to the bottom sieve assembly. This keeps the cleaning system in balance and will ensure that straw is laid flat and exits the combine instead of going into the grain tank. The preparation pan is designed to initially level the material over the full width of the cleaning shoe. As it does so, it also walks it rearward to the pre-sieve and at the same time tries to layer the material so that the heavier seed is at the bottom and the material other than grain, or mog, is toward the top. As it cascades onto the pre-sieve, a constant stream of wind begins to blow the lighter material towards the rear of the combine. Some seed will fall directly through the pre-sieve onto the bottom sieve for final cleaning. Remaining material will continue rearward and as it cascades onto the top sieve another constant stream of wind cleans it for a second time. Having said that of course, wind is also being blown through the sieves, thus the mog is being blown rearward on a constant cushion of air. Material falling through the pre-sieve and the front three quarter of the top sieve will fall onto the bottom sieve. Material falling through the final quarter of the top sieve will fall into the return system for re-threshing and re-cleaning. Material falling off the back of the top sieve will be felt by the loss monitors and go into the residue management system. Material falling through the bottom sieve will fall into the clean grain system to the grain tank. Material falling off the back of the bottom sieve will fall into the return system for re-threshing and re-cleaning. Let us consider the general settings. Fan speed and sieve openings are manually set and memorised using the ACS system on the control screen or with the harvest command system fully automatically depending upon the strategy set by the operator on the control screen. As a guide with manual adjustment the pre-sieve can be closed for oilseed rape or similar size seed and pulses, open approximately 6mm for barley and oats and 8mm for wheat. Notch 1 for rape, 2 to 3 for barley and 3 to 4 for wheat. Any wider could overload the very front of the bottom sieve. This would lead to grain falling forward into the fan housing and even damage the fan or impair the cleaning performance. 
the fan housing can easily be cleaned out by opening the access hatch. Considering the top and bottom sieves, the top sieve does the major clean and the bottom sieve does the final clean. Therefore the top sieve needs to be kept approximately 4mm wider than the bottom sieve. Although this relationship generally needs to be maintained for good cleaning performance, it is not always necessary or practical. The top sieve, being set at the starting point of 8mm for oilseed rape, 12mm for barley and 15mm for wheat, and the bottom sieve set accordingly. Of course, these should be adjusted to suit crops and conditions as harvest proceeds and your experience and confidence grows. When not using Harvest Command, set the fan speed manually. For oilseed rape, start with a fan speed of 600 RPM. For barley, start with the speed of 900 RPM. And for wheat, start with a speed of 1000 RPM. Of course, these will need to be adjusted to suit your requirements as the season progresses. If by visual inspection you find unthreshed ears on the ground from the cleaning system, this would indicate that ears have bypassed the return system. To try to alleviate this concern, the rear quarter of the top sieve can be manually adjusted to be set wider than that of the front three quarters. These ears can then fall through this section into the return system for rethreshing and recleaning. To adjust this section, position the chopper to gain access to the rear of the cleaning shoe, and above the rear axle, release the two latches and fold down the access door. Unacceptable grain loss on the ground would indicate the fan speed is too fast and or the sieves too narrow. Do one adjustment at a time to improve the situation. A dirty sample in the grain tank would mean that the sieves are open too wide or the fan is too slow. Do one adjustment at a time to improve the situation. The loss monitor across the full width of the rear of the top sieve measures the material being thrown into the residue system. You must ignore the control loss indicator until you have adjusted the cleaning system and achieved an acceptable loss amount on the ground. Then you can set the loss indicator sensitivity into the green section to match what you have seen on the ground. You then know that if it goes yellow or red, losses momentarily increase. If it stays high, then you need to make appropriate adjustments to reduce the losses. Using Harvest Command, visually inspect the losses. Then, on the control screen, bring up the losses and select either More is allowed, Acceptable, Too much, Way too much. In conjunction with all its sensors, including the sieve pressure sensors, Harvest Command will automatically take all appropriate adjustment actions to match your selection. Check again until you can select Acceptable. Please note, do not pressure wash these sensors as they will be damaged beyond repair. If the returns volume is too high, this would indicate that the top sieve is too wide and the bottom sieve is too narrow. Take appropriate action to bring the volume under control. In Harvest Command, this is a similar procedure to the sieve loss control method. Always remember that more comprehensive information, including safety specifications, maintenance and setting procedures, can be found in the operator's manual, which should be read prior to harvest operations, maintenance and repairs. Thank you for watching and have a great season.